There will be challenges in 2023 elections, but we are ready. INEC, welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. Mr. Yakubu assured that citizens will be involved in every inch of the process in terms of knowing what is going on at various polling units. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, says it has the capacity and courage to face challenges that may arise during the 2023 general election. We recognize the fact that the 2023 elections will be challenging, INEC Chairman Mahmoud Jakubu said. But we have the capacity and we also have the courage to face those challenges in a very broad and courageous manner. Mr. Yakubu spoke at the Yaga Africa Post Election Round Table and public, representa public presentation of the final report on the observation of the 2022 Ikiti Anoshu Governorship Elections. The chairman, represented by Festus Okoye, INEC spokesperson, said the commission would continue to listen and learn valuable relations from the Endo, Edo, Ondo, Anabra, Ekete, and the Oshu governorship elections in shaping the approach to the 2023 general election. Our assurance is that this commission would not lower the bar, and we are going to continue to uploading polling units results to our INEC results viewing portal. The commission will not depart from it, he said. Mr. Yakuba is sure that citizens will be involved in every each of the process in terms of knowing what is going on at the various polling units through INEC processes and procedures. He encouraged civil society organizations, the media, political parties, and all the critical stakeholders to study the Lecture Act 2022 and have a working knowledge of the Act. He said, Unless there is good knowledge of the document, it will be very difficult to follow the trajectory of the electoral process, the innovations, and some of the changes the Commission would make. The INEC boss also pleaded for the understanding and cooperation of Nigerians. Hussein Abdu, board chair, Yaga Africa, said the Kitiano Shu governorship election marked a very significant, significant turn on point for the electoral history in the country. He said this was more important as they were held after the Electoral Act Amendment, particularly the Bimodal Voter Accreditation System, BVAS. He, however, said the logistics remained one major challenge of the lecture process. Mr. Abdu also called on INEC to address the change of disproportionate polling units where some units will be overcrowded with thousands of voters, whereas other areas will be scanty. He urged INEC to work on its logistics and the distribution of voters to polling units, among others, and called on all stakeholders to work collectively towards achieving a better electoral process ahead of the 2023 general elections. The party, the Inter-Party Advisory Council, AIPAC, Chairman Yabagi Sani, advised Yagi Africa and INEC to work closely with political parties ahead of 2023 because the election will be a watershed in the journey of entrenching democracy in the country. Mr. Sani urged Alec not to rest on his oars but to continue to work to build the confidence of citizens to own the process and promote democracy. As political parties, we observe that there is still a lacuna that all of us must have to weigh in, that is the transmission of electoral results from polling units. Yes, we transmit the results to the ANEC portal, but the biggest issue, which is why our elections are questionable, is the issue of coalition. Because there is a saying that it is not those that vote that determines who wins, but those who count, he added. And it is really true. The last statement is really, really true. All right, on this note, we've come to the end of the news. We say thank you for tuning in to listen. Until I come, you'll be next time. Enjoy the rest of the day.